The 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks on America is less than two weeks away. And while there have been many smaller attacks since then, there haven't been any successful major attacks here in America, primarily due to the diligent work of many Americans. Many people, especially soldiers, have made great sacrifices of time, energy, serious injury, even their own lives, in the effort to keep us safe. Their sacrifices, especially as we see what's happening in Afghanistan now, should remind us that our freedom is not free. It comes at great cost. We should be very thankful to those who dedicated themselves to the fight and honor them with our support and encouragement. And we should especially honor those who paid the ultimate price of their lives. Their sacrifices should also remind us that nothing in life is free. Everything comes at a price that either we pay directly or someone else pays for us. That's true in everyday ordinary life, whether we're talking about the free gift offered on the radio. It costs someone, usually us, something, or the free check from the government. We or our neighbors pay for it. It's especially true in our spiritual lives because our freedom to choose, our free will, leads to us choosing to sin which leads to death, the ultimate price of freedom, James 1, verses 13 through 15. And our free gift of salvation from that sin came at the greatest price of all, the life of God's Son, 1 Peter 1, verses 18 and 19. David's understanding that serving God comes at great cost is demonstrated by his response to God's punishment of his sin in numbering Israel, 2 Samuel 24. God offered seven years of famine, three months of external attacks, or three days of pestilence from his hand. Rather than trust men, David let God bring the punishment, 2 Samuel 24, verse 14. When the punishment ended, David saw the angel of Jehovah and was told by God to buy that spot for an altar. When the owner offered it, along with his oxen for free, David refused and said, I will not offer burnt offerings to Yahweh my God, which costs me nothing. 2 Samuel 24, verse 24. Receiving God's free gift of salvation in Christ costs us nothing and costs us everything. We have to give him ourselves in penitent, obedient faith the first day and then every day until our life here on earth is over. That may seem like too high a price, but the cost of rejecting his offer is eternity without him. Nothing in life is free, and each of us will pay the price. The real question is to whom will you pay the price? Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.